The Boston Marathon is the world's oldest marathon. This year, over 36,000 runners from all over the world participated. Winchester local Kristen Weiner explained the difficulties and rewards of running a race like this. It was a lot different than I imagined. I it was it was awesome because there were thousands upon thousands of runners and hundreds of thousands of spectators. So it was just an incredible vibe all around. Um, but it was definitely harder than I had thought it would be. I think the most difficult part was the mental aspect of it, like getting driven on a bus, you know, an hour away and then realizing that you have to run back to where you started. And that that was really hard to kind of wrap my mind around. My family was standing there at mile 15, all five um, of my family members, or four, not including me. And my sister flew in from California, where she lives, my brother from Connecticut, and it was just incredible to have them there. I mean, I was running for the MS Society, um, and I knew that team very kind of loosely, um, but it was really nice to have them and to like, you know, we were all, all had to wear the same kind of singlet shirts. So it was really nice to like see them throughout the race and they would pat you on the back and, and say like, okay, keep going. So that was great. And I actually, when I was running, this might be on one of the pictures I showed, um, I wrote um, mom's marathon on my leg because like to, so that I could look at when I looked down because um that one of the neurologists who spoke at the team dinner, the MS team dinner a couple nights um, prior to the race had said, you know, it's really great that athletes are running this marathon, but unfortunately for people with MS, you know, it's a marathon every day for them just to get through the day. Well, we ended up raising um, $561,000. So over half a million dollars. It was a record, I guess, for the year. Kristen attributes a large part of her success to the support of the crowd. Every other foot, every other inch was just people. And like, I mean, people were holding out families, you know, water and Twizzlers and, you know, for the sugar and gummy bears and bananas. And I would not have made it as far as I did. I mean, I would not have finished without, you know, some of the water and stuff that they were giving us. So, and I mean, it was, um, it was so awesome to read all the signs that they had and, and just to kind of get a chuckle from that. And it, it was definitely an incredible energy that was there. Kristen's advice to future runners is this. I would say absolutely do it. Don't overtrain. I definitely overtrained. Like take it slow. Um, do what you can do. Take rest if you need to rest. But just do it. Like it's not in your comfort zone. But it's the best experience ever, and you don't have to do it again. <laughs> this is Hannah Perlmutter with Arlington Public News.